Today I got a total of six boxes to open up. All six of these came from Hot Topic. So they recently had a, I think it was a 30% off site-wide sale. And I also had, I think, a couple of like $5 off promo codes. Might have been two or three of them. And I think the normal retail price on these are 30, 35, around that range. But with the 30% off sale and with my promo codes, or no, my heart, uh, hot cash, not hot cash, but just they give you like $5 off if you spend like so much money. I got these things, all five, for $106.30. So we're talking about $21 a piece, which is fantastic. So this Lion King did have a chase variation, one in every six. They have a max of five per customer. So I was trying to order six in one order, but can't, can't do it. But I can order more, just a separate order. But each one of these came, they came in one huge box. And each one of these came in the original Funko Pop sorter boxes from Funko. So they are still factory sealed, have not been opened up. So there's no way that Hot Topic could have cherry picked out certain ones to send me where they could have, you know, purposely only sent me one chase out of five. These are all factory sealed from Funko. So Hot Topic, their employees at the warehouse, hottopic.com, they open up a fresh case. They pick out five boxes, throw them into a box, and ship them to me, and that's what I get. So, with these five, I'm trying to get at least one chase out. If it happens, we'll see. These are the first ones I have purchased so far. So, we're seeing these together for the first time on this channel. So, the first box I open up, I'll spend a little bit more time, like an extra minute or two, on this box. Just looking at the contents of the actual box itself. So I don't remember what actually comes in the box besides the Funko Pop. Um, three pieces. A vinyl figure, a vinyl keychain. That's what the box says. I don't see the third one, but yeah. Still factory sealed. Oh, the retail price of this was $32.90. So these retail for $33 a piece. I got them shipped from HotTopic.com for $21 a piece, so that's actually fantastic. Just the uh, common version of this Funko Pop, uh, I think is selling for, last time I checked, between like $20 and $25 for just the common version. The Chase is much more than that. If we hit the Chase, we'll look it up to see what the active selling price is for the Chase. Here we go, here's the first one out of five. I'm not sure how they actually pack these. I'm not sure if they'll be looking up at me, telling me if it's a chase or not. And actually, okay, so now I kind of know how they pack these so I know how not to look inside whenever I open it up. So first thing you see is actually the Funko Pop and you can tell if it has a stick or not for the chase. This is just the common version. A lot of people I've heard actually prefer the common version over the chase due to the colors of the common. But uh, let's see what else you get in this. You get a a wobble, a Lion King Timon Timon wobble. I've actually have never seen the Lion King ever. So this character, a little vinyl wobbler figure. You get a Lion King vinyl figure of this little bird thing. I don't know what that character is called. Looks like every package will be exactly the same. Every box will have just this bird thing. Last thing in the box, you have a pop keychain of Ed. Looks like some kind of a rabid dog or something. So every box will be exactly the same and pretty much you're going for the chase figure. That's kind of it's kind of your ultimate goal is to get the chase out. So first box, kind of struck out on it. And if you want to purchase these, these are still for sale on the hottopic.com website. And your local Hot Topic will still have a bunch of these in stock. Like they made probably 20, 30,000 of this box. So if you want one, you can find one still. And you'll be able to find one for quite a while. 
The cheapest that these boxes are going to get is going to be about the $20 uh, price point. These will go on sale again for uh, for like $20. So just wait for that sale if you want to save a little bit of money. So this time I'm not going to actually look down to the box because you can see if it has a chase sticker or not like right off the bat. You can tell. So let me pull out the other items first. The little rabbit thing. The wobbler thing. I said I've never seen Lion King, the animated nothing, so I do not know these characters. Here we go. Is it the chase? One, two, three. It is not the chase. It is another common version. So right now we are two for two for commons. So here's number three. Let's see. What will we get? Chaser Common. I'm going to just try to pull out the actual... I can't really get out the Funko Pop without first pulling out the other items. Wobbler. The other, th other three things will be the same. Every single, every single box. Nothing different. Now here's the Funko Pop. Chaser Common. Number three. Common. Yeah, at least everything so far has been like absolutely like mint condition. So, another common. So now I've got I got three commons to sell. So here's number four. Yeah, I would just like to get out at least one chase out of these five. That'd be kind of nice to at least get out one. But there's no guarantee. The odds are one in six, and I only got five. There is no guarantee. Yeah, if you bought this box, comment down below how many boxes did you buy? Did you buy multiples trying to get out of Chase? Or did you just buy one just to get out one? Or did you did you buy one hoping to get the Chase and actually got the Chase the first time? Because the first three on mine, no Chase. So there, those three things exactly the same. And now here we go. Here's the Funko Pop. Common or Chase? Oh, got the chase out. Cool. So, yeah. So, next time I pull out, or hopefully this fifth box is also a chase. But I'll say, let's just, for good luck, I'll just say the fifth box will also be a chase. I'll pull out one of the common ones and show you the difference between the common and the chase. So, you just you kind of see. There's like the back of the common. But, yeah. The chase is kind of cool. I actually think the chase is cooler than what the common is. That's just me. Last box, number five. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be buying any more of these. Um, like with last year for the horror mystery box with the leather face, I, I think I bought like 30 of those. I got out many, many chases. Um, every time they, they went on sale, I bought more. The Lion King, I don't know if I'm going to buy more of these or not. It kind of it depends on how well I'm able to sell the common figures, like the leather face commons. I was selling those all day long for 20 bucks and I was buying most of the boxes for 20 bucks. So even if I got out the common, I was getting all my money back every single time. So it all depends on how well I'm, I'm able to sell the common of this Lion King figure. The scar with flames. Here we go. Fifth box. Pull out all of this one's actually packed a little bit different. The these were a little bit different. Here we go. Last one. Number five. You ready? Common. That's okay. So out of five boxes, got a total of four commons and did get out one chase. So I'll show you on the camera right here. The difference between the common one is the green one. The chase is the red one. The chase is, a, is more rare. One in every six for the red. Okay, so I'm looking at actual eBay sold listings, not asking prices, actual sold confirmed prices, okay? I'm seeing the common figure right now selling for 25, 25, 27, 20, 22, 30, 30 for the common, 30, 25, 14, that one really dropped, 
23. So looks like the common, honestly, you can get between 20 and 25 bucks for the common figure. And I bought these boxes for 21. So no matter what, I'll get my money back on that. The chase variation though, how much is the chase selling for? You've got 72, 61, 72, 72, 86, 89, 75, 70, 72, 73, 72, 91. These are all just within the past like three or four days. Uh, 74, 75, 80. So it looks like honestly you can look, this chase is between like 75 and 80 bucks for the chase. I like doing this series where I buy multiple of the same one trying to get out the chase variations because it's kind of, it's the challenge that I like of can I hit a chase and if I can, how many can I get out? So I'll see you next time. Funko Bad Guy, out. Perfect.